All right, today I'm out the Claremore Mountain Bike Trails in Claremore, Oklahoma. It's the first time I've been out here in uh, about two years, and today I'm riding my new Linsky Livewire SL Titanium. Uh, I just got this in the frame in about two weeks ago. Built it up with parts from other bikes I had laying around. Uh, this is supposed to be the first ride on it. Uh, really happy with how it turned out. Aesthetically, it's gorgeous. Uh, I can just look at it <laughs> and not even ride it. I hope it rides half as good as it looks. Uh, the SL version has sliding dropouts, so my long-term plans for this bike will be uh, set up single speed, but for right now, I've uh, got gears on it. I'm heading towards, right along the lakes, I'm heading towards the Colab Trail. I haven't done that one yet. So I'm going to go do that one. And if I have time and energy, I'll hit some of the others. Ooh, that was wet. So Claremore here is in northeast Oklahoma. Now about 20 miles northeast of, how's it going? That's awesome. You guys have a great day. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. That was pretty cool. Get down here in his, his track vehicle. So as I was saying, uh, Claremore is about 20 miles northeast of Tulsa. So this is about a two and a half hour drive, excuse me, two hour drive for me to come out here. It all started in disaster. I got out here, got everything, got all kitted up, and got the bike ready to roll. Realized I forgot my <laughs> SD card for the GoPro. So I loaded everything back up and go find a uh, Go find a Walmart so I can get an SD card because I didn't drive two hours. Two hours to ride. Do a first ride on this bike and not be able to record it. <laughs> All right. Oop, wasn't prepared for that. I know I gotta cross this road here. To get the Cloab or C lab lobe. <laughs> Put that seat down a little bit. So So on that flowy stuff feels really good. But with these brakes, I think 
I think yesterday I may have I was using some bike polish. <laughs> I may have uh, skipped there. Oh, that was whew, that was nice. May or may not have accidentally got something on the on the rotors. So, well, I'm used to the the four pots. I use these SLX two pots a lot, and they don't seem to be grabbing quite. Like how I recall I'll have to address that when I get home. But on this flow stuff, this thing handles it feels really good. So climbing, I gotta give this a really good grade. I'm kind of not feeling it today, physically. But this is going, this climbs really well. section so I'm gonna take a stab at it and call this Cloab Claremore Moab that rocks actually just passed reminiscent slick rock Finally sees this, and that's the case. Put it in the comments section. See if I'm right. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, there's the bar. Christening. Christening the new bike. Always have to clip a tree. Belt line down here. Yeah, 
just a little, little piece of fun. Oh, oh. All right, finish, about finishing up the ride. So first impressions, first ride, first impressions. This is my setup here. This, this will be a good blue flow trail bike, which is kind of what I was aiming for, where that's all I really need out of this bike. I don't, I've got others that are if I'm going to get <clears throat> excuse me I have others that I, if I'm going to go for black diamonds and things like, like that I'll take those probably going to take a little bit more getting used to obviously first ride the tech it's okay that could very well just be me right now it does accelerate fast and handles down in the uh, in the corners and stuff really good. But I do think I feel that uh, a little bit steeper head angle than what I've been used to running on the downs. Could be the fork as well. I think I may need to add a little air to there, a little air to it. Maybe 70 volume spacers in it because. <clears throat> Fork just seemed to want to dive pretty good, and that's not helpful going through a chunk like this. They have that front end just dive in on you, but we'll see. <clears throat> 